Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage. Well today we're going to be turning the PT Cruiser convertible into a snowplow. I'm not joking. My uh, Niaru project has taken a little longer than I planned so it's not ready to uh, plow snow and as you can see we're already getting snow. We got a, a cold snap and a couple good dumps of snow here. It might actually melt away. It's warming up now this week but uh, either way it's coming back so uh, I'm going to be ready when it does. Well, this snow's really caught me off guard. I, I planned on having that inside, and that's not my RV, by the way. I'll just say that right now. And, uh, yeah, planned on having a lot of things cleaned up, but it didn't happen. Just going to use the truck to uh, retrieve the blade, which is uh, back in there, back behind the link in there. So, got to sweep all this snow off. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, there it is, rescued from the uh, snowbank. It was a bit more of an ordeal than I expected to tow in it out of there. The truck kept wanting to slide around in there and wasn't getting any grip, but we got her. Well, this is how quickly weather changes in Canada. You can see uh, yesterday I had to come here and shovel snow, and today all the snow's melting away. So that's nice. I have nicer working conditions today and I got the uh, plow blade all moved up here yesterday. These fasteners here I'll probably have to cut off though. Normally they seize up on the Canadian editions of these cars. Yeah, all four of them twisted out of the inserts so I have to get in there with the die grinder and cut them off. Welcome to the Rust Belt. It's better than Loctite. <coughs> Finally, a little bit of victory. And two. So now, that'll pull down. So I got this side free as well. No damage to the bumper, and there we go. So there it is, that's what we're gonna mount everything to, and uh, I might even be able to put the grill back later, I'd like to, but uh, basically I'm gonna make a, a bracket going up here for my my pulley for my winch cable to come down and lift the blade, so the, the winch will be bracketed up right to the top of this, and then I just have to t make two U-shaped brackets there to uh, to hold the, the plow arms basically they they go right on the end of the frame rails here so I have another one of these this is called a bumper rebar uh, bumper reinforcement so I will take this one off because it's the original to the car put it aside and then take the uh, spare one of these I have in the shop and I'll weld everything up on it so I'll just warn you if you're looking to do the same thing to your vehicle uh, all modern vehicles have this. This is a crumple zone. Those wrinkles in there, that, that hole in there, that's basically a relief so that this area of the car crinkles up and absorbs the energy in an impact. So what I normally do for a plowing application like this is I'll put some 16 gauge plating over this and I'll run it all the way back to about there where the, uh, the subframe bolts up under there and uh, the strut tower kind of starts and the car gets stronger from there back. I'll just plate that area so that it doesn't crinkle up. I'm not going to do it on this car because it's only for temporary plowing use and I want to put it back to stock after so I'm just going to be real gentle on it and hopefully I don't crinkle anything up here. Well guys it turns out that these uh, wheels that I used to run on the Neon they're only 14 inch and they don't clear these uh, turbo uh, brake calipers. I know the, the regular PT it'll fit on but not the turbo one apparently. So I have these 15 inch steel wheels here they don't have the studs for the traction rings so i won't be able to run those but they're they're pretty decent nokia and tires uh one of them has a hole in it so that's the deal there i think this one has a slow leak but uh that's what i got to work with well here's where i got to after the light faded i got the uh, snow tires on there and everything and i uh, just kind of got the blade mocked up here i had it uh, sitting up straight and kind of had it mocked up where the the plow arms would sit on the bumper here so now I need to make some brackets to accommodate them 
mount up my winch, uh, make a little boom for the, the winch cable to go up, and uh, I have it set up so that it will kind of fold under the front of the car and actually lift the front wheels off the ground. Actually, my, my best video ever on the channel was my uh, knee on in that position because everybody thought it had broken, but it was actually designed to do that if it uh, caught up bad. And uh, I've always had these as like little runners on here, and they work pretty good to guide it over, you know, obstacles and up uh, slopes, you know, up a ditch or whatever. But uh, if the ground's soft, that's like in the sp spring and in the... In the fall and stuff like that that's when I have problems I, I don't normally have problems when it's really cold out it's when it's mild out and the ground's kind of muddy and the, the blade digs in so yeah these uh these pins here are all rusted up and I'm gonna clean them up I'm um, gonna clean a bunch of stuff up and probably put a coat of paint on this all when I'm done here but for now I'm just trying to get it mounted up and I, uh, I bent up this uh, a few years ago during the summer actually with another uh, attachment I have for this and it I was lifting a car with it and bent it so I just kind of sliced it apart and kind of welded it back together straight so this would all go together again but that kind of tweaked it a little so I've always had trouble getting that pin in since so I want to fix a few things like that up while I have it uh, uh, while I'm working on it and uh, and get it all painted up again. Okay guys I got just a bunch of random scraps here and I'm just gonna be kind of fitting them up there and uh, Making some quick marks on them with the sharpie I'm Not getting a tape measure out or anything special like that. This is all just gonna be eyeballed and uh, yeah Just getting her done Okay, well we're set up in the shop here and uh, just got everything kind of set up here and a few grinders and stuff and I'm just going to get to uh, cutting and grinding and welding and uh, by the end of the day I should have a, a plow set up built, that's the uh, plan anyways. Well guys, there you have it. Um, I still gotta just build the actual mounts for the uh, blade arms right there. Okay, well I just ran a straight edge across here and then marked the center of that line on each one. I had uh, done a mock-up against the arms with this one. You can see I traced the hole there. And I'll just put a little three-in-one oil on each one too. Well, okay, here we go. I got uh, holes in all four of those, so it's it's time to kind of get it all mocked up here. That's going to work just fine. I'm just making sure I can get full motion out of it. Time for a little color.
Amazing how much better it looks with just paint on it. Okay guys, well now that I've got uh, the mountings and the plow arm and everything all cleaned up and painted nice, I'm going to do the same with the blade. Uh, just use the space heater to get it dry before the, the night dew settles on it. Well, what do you guys think of that? Myself, I like the color. So yeah, everything just bolts on, like I said. And uh, the winch bolts on. It was a bit of a pain getting in there to bolt it on, but got that done and uh, everything turned out really nice. I still gotta take the excess cable off the drum here and I'm gonna put a bigger hook on here. One that uh, swivels a little nicer in there. But uh, otherwise, the old blade's looking pretty good. This uh, MDS plow works. That's the name I made up. That's my initials. And uh, I just want a name that sounded old fashioned. So everything used to be a works back in the day. Iron works, whatever. Well, guys, the uh, winch is all wired up here. But the grill's just not happening. It actually makes contact on some of my bracing here in the center. And also the control box doesn't fit under it so it would have to be out here exposed to the weather so we're gonna go grill this I would like to have had it in there just to protect the uh, the radiator or AC condenser I guess and the uh, trans cooler there and whatnot but uh, it's not uh, not gonna happen unless I trim the bog and my grill off which is actually a good grill since it's an ATV winch I'm using it had this handlebar mount I was able to put on my door handle and uh, it's a nice place to have my winch control works out nicely and then I just zip tied it to here just to hold it up in the door jam so it's not getting caught in the hinge and then I just have to be careful when I close my hood that the, the hinges aren't going to bind up on here other than that should all work it's just temporary so I don't want to run it through the firewall or anything silly like that guys there you have it I'm pretty well all done with this uh, setup here and it's ready to plow snow so uh, now we just have to wait for snow and I'll make a cool video of it uh, in action so stay tuned for that do hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourself a great day